begin in the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful. My dear brothers and sisters, I greet you with a universal greeting of Assalamu Alaikum to our non-Muslim brothers and sisters. May the peace and blessings of God the Almighty be upon each and every one of us here this afternoon. This afternoon, we are gathered here for a very sad occasion to say goodbye to our dear brother Sham, who have passed away yesterday. And today, we do the final rites. We know a Muslim funeral is a very simple funeral. First of all, on behalf of myself, on behalf of the Jamaat, on behalf of the community, we would like to extend our deepest condolences and sympathies to his father and members of his family who are all gathered here today. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, our brother who is lying be before us have passed away. If we look around today, we see so many people are dying with COVID and so many different things. We have seen how life has gotten. And this is a lesson for us that we must never, never take life for granted. Let this be a lesson for us. A young person who is lying before us, who is one step ahead and we are one step behind. I will hand over to our Imam. He will give us a short message after which we will do the janazah and then we do our final rise, the burial. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahmaruhu wa nasalli ala rasulika wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyir al-mursaleen. Amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to the family members and good afternoon. We are gathered here today for the janazah, a very sad occasion for our dear brother in Islam. Now a little advice, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he mentions that when a person, when a Muslim he passes away, right at throughout our lives we have three different things with us, our family members, our wealth, our properties and our deeds. Two things will leave that person when he dies, which is his family members and his wealth and his properties. But one thing will always remain with him. That is his good deeds. The deeds that he has done in, this, in his life. He also mentions that we will help a person in his grave after he passes away. Are those prayers and those du'as and those blessings that their family members send on behalf of them. That will benefit them in the, in the life hereafter. Now this is a lesson for you and I. That we stand here alive. But that's it. It is something by which we never ever know when it can happen to any one of us. It is something that will happen. That though we have differences of opinions and different things may happen to us in our life. One thing every single person, every living human being, they will agree upon. That death, it will come to each and every single one of us. So as Muslims, we use this life, inshallah, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To live our life as good Muslims, as a good person, a good human being on the face of this earth. So that when we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will take utmost good care of us, inshallah. And we do hope and pray that Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is treating our brother with the utmost kindness and goodness. May He accept all of His good deeds. May He forgive all of His sins and all of His shortcomings and misdeeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take care of Him and allow Him to enter into Jannah to fulfill those. Wa aqudawna alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Family and friends. Oh, okay. But well, nobody will see me. Eh? All right. All right. Family and friends. We are we have come here to say farewell to Sham. Sham, the only word I could describe him as is beloved. Because every one of us here present this afternoon would have been touched by him. In a big way, in a medium way, probably in a little way. But we would have been touched with love and blessing from him. Because that was the kind of man that he was. I, I just listened to the brother said that what you carry from your life is your good deeds. And for that, I think Sham does not have a bad deed to carry forward. He doesn't have a bad bone in his body. We came here together to Tobago in 2002. And from that, Sham has endeared himself to everyone up here. It's just very few people 
here who don't know who Sham is, who can't talk to Sham, who can't ask him for something, who can't ask him a favor, who can't ask him for help, who can't, who can't talk to him, who can't ask him for advice. That was the life that he lived since I knew him. I know him since he born. And it is indeed very, very, very terrible to come here and send him home. But as we do believe, he's going to a better place. Hard and difficult for us to accept. Life will be better for him. It will be harder for us. So now we say goodbye, Sham. And thanks for being part of our lives. Thanks for being a big part of my life. Thanks for the time you shared with us. And all the blessings. I know you have all, all, all. You richly deserve it. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much to those who have got here today. Again, I urge you all to let this be a lesson for all of us. That when death comes, it doesn't matter what age we are, what nationality we are how rich we are, how poor we are. When death comes, there is no turning back. And we must never, ever take this life for granted. And let us continue to make the best of the little life that we have and to serve our Creator. So right about now, we will do the janaza, which is a funeral prayer. And after, we'll do the burial. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Thank <laughs> you.
صلاته مما رزقناه من يؤمنون والذين يؤمنون بما انزل اليك وما انزل من قبلك وبالاخرة هم يوقنون اولئك على هدى من ربهم واولئك هم المصلحون لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخطوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت عليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطعنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ثو آمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غل المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم يا أو مس مس في الدوز شو مس يا الله we stand here we ask you يا الله يا الله we ask you for our brother who has passed who has gone beyond يا الله يا الله you accept all of his good deeds يا الله you forgive all of his sins يا الله you make it easy for the family members to overcome this hardship يا الله make it easy for them يا الله ease their pains and ease their sufferings يا الله يا الله make peace in their hearts يا الله يا الله guide them to the right path يا الله continue to give them guidance and hidayah يا الله يا الله you forgive our brother Sham يا الله forgive him يا الله illuminate his grave with the light of Jannah with the light of paradise Extend his grave as far as his eyes can see. Make it spacious and wide. Give him a grave. Give him a bedding from the beddings of Jannah. Allow him to sleep peacefully in his grave, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, allow him to be resurrected among the shuhada, among the salihin, among the righteous and pious Muslims, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, allow him to continue to get good deeds in his grave, Ya Allah, for all of his charities, all of his sadaqot al jariyah. Ya Allah, you forgive him and you bless him, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you make it easy for us, Ya Allah, in this dunya as well, Ya Allah. You make it easy for us, Ya Allah, until the day that we die and we return to you, Allah. Subhanallah, you hamdi, subhanakallah, mashadu. Mashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastagfuru ka wa atubu ilayk. Subhana rabbi karabba isa matifuna salam al rasaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ameen. Thank you.